Come and get it. Plenty to go around. I was trying to think of a good title for this video. I thought maybe update on the pasture or pasture progress, but I think I'll call it field trip. That has more of a friendly ring to it. I am in the middle of a project. It's a large project in terms of square feet, but it's not a real hard project. I'm brush hogging our fields for the very first time. So far, I'm happy with how it's gone. It's been a couple of days. I'm just taking it easy, just doing it a little bit at a time. And uh, maybe I should describe our place a little bit here. We're on 40 acres, and it's more or less a big square. The field that I've mowed here is the east field. Wendy wants to call it the lower goat field. You let me know what, what name you like best. And the south field over there, we're not in a hurry to mow down. We really don't want to encourage our goats to go up by the road. The perimeter fence that we have right now is not goat proof by any means. So we don't want the goats to escape. So far it hasn't been a problem. The goats have plenty of room and they don't seem to wander off on their own very far from their shelter or their source of water. So, you know, no problems so far. East field here, south field down there, more or less our property slopes down towards the south. Up behind our goat shelter, is the northeast field. So here's the northeast field. This path right through the woods is the main east-west corridor on our property and more or less close enough to the middle to divide our place into quadrants. We're pretty close to the goat shelter here. My strategy for using the brush hog and tractor has been to cut a perimeter area of the section that I'm going to try and finish wide enough for the tractor to be able to turn around easily and then try to do parallel lines going up and down slopes. We are in the Ozarks. We do have rolling hills. Fortunately, the hills aren't very extreme, but still, you don't want to get yourself in a position where your tractor is going 
sideways across a hill and might roll. It's better to go up and down. So when I was doing this field, I would go up and down, and then when I got down close to the pond, I would go up and down this way, because it's a slight slope up that way. And then because the main slope is coming up this direction, most of my passes were just going parallel this way. Good. Uh, finding good stuff to eat. <coughs> the west field is our biggest field, and I'm going to start tackling that today. Back over here, Towards the south, I'm not sure we can really call this part of the south field. It's more like, I guess we could call it the original home site area. And there's another pond right down that direction. Of course, most of the north side is forest, so I'm not going to be, you know, using the brush hog very much back there. We'll probably just leave those as walking paths. So. East side is done, getting started on the west side. Eventually, I will get to that northeast section. Wish me luck on the west field. The west field by far is the most overgrown. Right behind me is a spot where an old round bale of hay kind of disintegrated a long time ago into a big compost pile. Grass has grown over it, so there's a kind of a large lump. 
getting over that with the tractor is kind of interesting. This little turtle has survived the brush hog. How you doing? Hello chickens. Our original plan for the space with the chickens was to turn it into a fall garden for Wendy. The chickens were gonna scratch it up and fertilize the space. We were gonna move the coop around in here to spread them out a little bit. But Wendy's feeling a little overwhelmed. This, our first year in Missouri, so we're not gonna do the fall garden this year. We can still keep the chickens in here and have them scratch it up and fertilize it, but right in the middle of the pasture, at least the section of pasture where I just mowed, is a persimmon tree dropping a lot of persimmons. Those are going to waste. Our chickens love persimmons. So tomorrow, tomorrow morning when the coop is full of chickens, I'm gonna move it out there so they can stay out there for a while and enjoy some persimmons. Free food for the chickens, I like that. We're still going to feed them the regular, regular chicken food. It'll just be a supplement for them. First, I need to get my riding mower out there to knock the grass down a little bit more than it is. The brush hog leaves it a little bit tall and rough. And for our electric fence, I just want it to be a little shorter. electric fence is about 20 paces on a side, so I roughly step that out, keeping that persimmon tree right in the middle. That gives me a rough idea of where I need to mow. I mowed on the inside and the outside of those buckets. So, this should make setting the fence up and getting it working tomorrow a little bit easier.
This has been a field trip not just for us, but also for the chickens. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.